Hi, I've got a review for you today that I'm very excited about. I'm Josh Hall, your host here on Video Mania, and today we are going to be talking about, drum roll please, these lights right here. I'm very excited about these lights, and let me tell you why I'm excited about these lights. These were $40. Now, these were bought on Amazon uh, from Limo Studio, and these are the um, Limo Studio Photo Pro uh, Studio lights. They come in a set of three. They have two regular stands, they have two umbrellas, and uh, they have three lights for you, three heads for you, and then they have a small table stand for you as well. So first let's talk about the stands that are included with this light kit. You've got two regular stands just like this. They fold up, you've got the uh, quarter thread on top. So these are your pretty ordinary run-of-the-mill kind of light stands. Now the one thing that I did notice with these over other stands like PBL, even though they look exactly the same and who knows, they might actually be manufactured in the same place, these ones are a lot stiffer. Uh, not a huge deal, but something to consider that these just um, don't, don't feel quite as nice as some of the other ones that I've used for some reason. Uh, I like the flat black once again. Not a big deal, but I think it looks a lot more professional. So let me show you how these will actually be constructed on one of these light stands. You'll take your light stand and then you will take the head that is included You'll loosen that up, and then you can make that straight like that, tighten it back up. You've got this screw back here that will go on to the top of the light stand. So I'm just gonna loosen that up. I place it right on top of the light stand, and then it screws right in. The thing about these fluorescent heads is that they're all incredibly cheaply made. They are uh, simple plastic. Sometimes they don't exactly align with the light stand. The three that I got uh, fit pretty well. One, it's really tight when I try to push it down onto the head of the stand, but it works. All three of the fluorescent heads that you get have places for umbrellas. Here are the Limo Studio, fo uh, Photo Pro Studio lights that are included. They're 120 volt, 45 watt fluorescent lights. They are actually wrapped in uh, a nice foam protection to protect the light from any damage, as well as put in the case and then in the box. I noticed that one of the lights actually uh, didn't glow a little bit in the center of the light and in the back it just wasn't illuminating for some reason. That's an odd problem to have, but that was only one of the three lights, and I think that I still get adequate amount of light from it. Uh, one thing that these have is that they appear to have some vents right there to actually dispel some of the heat that would normally build up, which is interesting because they uh, burn quite a bit hotter than ones that I've used in the past. So there's your fluorescent light. It will hook straight up like that. And then from there, what you can do is take your umbrella. I'm just gonna grab the umbrella straight off of that light. And then you put the umbrella right down in there. And there is your light kit. You've got the fluorescent light and you've got your diffusion that you will shoot through. Something as well to consider with these lights is that they are not dimmable. They just have a simple on off switch right here in the back and that will turn your fluorescent on and then you will have uh, constant light. I can tell you that my PBL lights that I just bought a few months ago that I did a review on, you can check that out on youtube.com slash the video maverick. One of those fluorescent lights actually exploded while it was in the softbox. And I was very surprised about that as fluorescents are supposed to last quite a bit longer than other bulbs. These umbrellas have good spring to them. They have a, a grab at the bottom to keep them closed when you want them closed. And then you can just wrap them up and stick them in your bag. Here is the bag that Limo Studio has provided for you as the consumer of this three light kit. 
This is a great thing to have as you travel around with your light kit. And I find that the quality is actually quite astonishing once again for $40. You've got a nice strap that you can throw around your shoulder and you can make it longer or shorter depending on your needs. And you've got a draw strap at the top to close everything off. Simple but effective. And everything actually fits in here minus the fluorescent bulbs. Uh, so this is the tabletop stand. And I think that tabletop stands are a useful thing to have but I can tell you as well, if you're planning to use this kit as a three-point kit, that you will want to pick up another regular size stand. And you can get these stands for fairly cheap, these, uh, these larger stands. But a tabletop stand is nice to have. Once again, the quality of the stand is surprisingly good, although fairly cheap. But that's to be expected for $40. Another thing to note is that it does not have a 1 4th inch screw on the top for you. I've mentioned a lot of good things about these lights and a few bad things, but let's talk about a few more negatives about these lights as well, as there are some, as this is an economy light kit. One thing, as I've mentioned before, is that the lights are not very bright. You will probably want to purchase brighter lights, so that way you can uh, have the flexibility of having the lights a little bit further away from your subjects. The other thing about the lights is that they claim that they are daylight balanced. I don't have any measuring devices so I cannot say whether that claim is true or not. However, I have another couple of lights from PBL. Those lights seem to emit a daylight, white light, and when I was using this light with my uh, PBL lights that were daylight, that are daylight balanced, um, I noticed that this light actually emitted more of a green look to it when I balanced my camera to daylight. But depending on what other lights you're using, uh, it may not actually make that much of a difference. If you're only using these lights, you can get a very white looking light from these lights. Something that I like about these lights, and it's been a problem that I've actually noticed with other lights in the past and other lights that I've used, is that this bolt on the back is securely fastened. It doesn't actually fall into the connecting hole here. And the other thing that I've noticed is that it doesn't make any grinding noises at all. And yet, it's very secure when you fasten it. In fact, I found that all the knobs tighten very secure, which is fantastic. The umbrellas, although they are a good material, uh, are very thin and they could easily rip, so you'll need to be careful if you plan on buying this kit. You will want to take care with transportation and take care with using this equipment as, once again, it is cheaper equipment than other things that you will find out there. Also something that I really like about this light kit is about the cords. The cords are really, really pretty long. There are other light kits out there that have extremely short cords and it's very frustrating trying to plug them in even with them extended all the way up. These can be extended all the way up and I can still find a plug to plug these in at. That is a really, really nice feature about these lights. Another thing to keep in mind is that you will want to get lights of different wattages uh, to do a proper three point lighting system. And to do this, you can buy fluorescent lights that have different wattages and put them in the different sockets and move those around. And remember that you're going to need a way to transport your fluorescent bulbs as well because they could easily break if you don't carry them in the boxes or in some other padded case. So all in all, if you're looking for a backup light kit or an entry level light kit or just another economy light kit to supplement the lights that you already have. I think that these lights by Limo Studio are a screaming deal. If you supplement these with other lights that have variable output and that can be brighter, I would say that you can use these even as accent lights or fill lights in more professional videos. Today I'm going to rate these lights 4 out of 5 and that's because there are some negatives to them but for $40, you're getting a really good bargain on these lights. Thanks for watching the review today.